All right, let's move on to this now. Roger Cedrus joins us to speak about the trials and triumphs of being a sports photographer. Cedrus attended the Tokyo Olympics and was at the recent World Under-20 Championships. He is also joining Team USA, heading to the Tokyo Paralympics tomorrow. He joins us now via Zoom. A very good morning to you, Roger. I have to say, you sound like a man who lives outside who lives in his suitcase outside of his suitcase always traveling um how do you manage then to balance your work and family life that's a very difficult question <laughs> but uh, morning nande and to all the viewers no 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 it's uh, it's look we, we there were there was no sport last year so and all of a sudden all of the, the major events have come come together from olympics to the world under 20 and all like within the space of two months so I've got a supportive wife, I'm in a supportive family, and we have to do what we have to do to, for the, you know, for our nation. Yeah, now Roger, with COVID-19, there was a time when everything came to a standstill, particularly sport. How did that affect you? And did you also see it as a chance to finally get some rest? Finally get some rest? No. Um, <laughs> that's where the planning comes in. And I went to do some, some other kind of stuff. Uh, you know, photographing the lockdown, photographing, mm. you know, from testing sites and doing some other stuff. But because um, we have to document it. It's the first time in our lives that there's a, you know, we're living through a global yeah. pandemic. And we and our job is to document it and uh, be part of history. And, and I'm, it's just a privilege for me just to be capturing history, whether it's on the sporting field or, or, or the news field. Um, speaking speaking yeah, of the sporting it's, it's, field, Roger, Roger, sorry to, to interrupt you, but just speaking no, of no that, that sporting field, sports did finally make a comeback, but there were no fans in a lot of these events. As a photographer, I can imagine your job is to capture the atmosphere at sporting events. So how did you work around that? Um, we have to just focus on the, on, you know, on the athletes, focus mm. on the emotion, focus on the, uh, um, the moment. Um, yeah, there are no fans, there, aren't, there is no interaction between athletes and the, and the spectators. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's not just the, the you know, um, it's difficult, yeah. but we have to just do it. The emotion is, we just have to capture the emotion of yeah. the athlete. Winning a, winning a medal is just the most important, actually. Roger, what are some of the challenges that come with being a sports photographer? I know that at some point you had to, to fund yourself in terms of traveling. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's true. Mm. Um, that started back in, in, in London 2012 and in Rio and, you know, the World Championships. But for, thanks to, to people like, you know, uh, who support me, like Gala Images and um, Canon South Africa, they, they, they support me you know, when it comes to equipment, if you need equipment. Um, but getting around uh, is difficult, but you've got a plan. You've got to plan ahead. You can't just decide today you're going to do it tomorrow. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's the way we have to do it at the moment, Mandy. Yeah. Um, if, you know, today the, the event is on and then they just cancel it because, you know, the, the, the things are right, the, the, the cases are rising. And yeah. also, you know, the, the, especially now with recently, with, we had to test every second day. We had to do a nasal swab every second day now at, at the, in Nairobi. So, you know, it's not, it's not just the physical um, part of it. You've got to look up to your health as well. Mm. And that's also the challenge. It's not just the health of the athlete, but the health, your health as well. Because if you get sick, there's, there's nobody to, to get the pictures out. Yeah, absolutely. So, Roger, you've spoken about the challenges, but I'm sure there's many, many highlights as well. Just what are some of your top moments? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Chad Leclerc, we beating Michael Phelps in 2012, and how I got there is a miracle in itself. Um, to the to the swimming finals, and of course Wade Van Kicks um, world record. I mean that will go down as one of the the big ones at the at Rio, and also even yesterday, um, South African four by one smashing the new uh, a new winning a setting a new world record in the four by one hundred meters. Um, I have to admit. I shed a tear. I'm not a, you know, diehard. <laughs> you shed a tear. So it, these are these are the youngsters that's going to represent us at um, in Paris in 2024, and and move on from from the results that we just had in Tokyo. Roger, just very quickly and briefly, for anyone watching this interview who has a dream of becoming a sports photographer, what kind of advice would you give them? Work hard. 
practice, but don't practice at the event. Yeah. Um, and, and what I did, my recipe was, I, I qualified as a technical official back in the 90s uh, um, in athletics. So you got to know the rules of the sport before, before you actually just rock up at the, at the event. So, so you don't get in the, in the technical official's way and you know the, the safety rules when it comes to implements like javelin and discus and you know what to do. Um, that's my advice. Just keep practicing. Start at schools. Um, yeah. You know, do features. Do features, not just the action. People think sports photography is just about action. It's about features on the on the people. So just go for it, and um, you know, and move and help create. And it's still a privilege, but help create a, a, a new South Africa with, with with sporting icons. We have so many sporting icons that we just need to document um, and get them out there. We've yeah. got enough talent, Nandi, in this country. So I'm no looking forward to seeing what the middle distance, middle distances are going to do, and the road running. I, I was a medal since 1996, though. Mm. So let's see what they do. Very exciting times ahead, and I know that you're heading to the Paralympics in Tokyo. Hopefully, you'll be our lucky charm. Thanks very much for your time, Roger. That was sports photographer Roger Cedrus.